What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you a brand new Let's Play. It is Kindergarten. Now, guys, I do gotta warn you. If you are under the age of 18, I would just... Or if you're easily disturbed, I would not really watch this or even recommend playing it. Now, I know this seems such a childish game, so I know there probably have been... But let's put it this way. If you're still in school of any sort, I don't think I would recommend this because there's a lot of stuff in this game that is very disturbing. And the sad thing is, is that it is, some of the things that happens here can be very realistic, maybe not exactly, but it is. It promotes violence, is all I'm saying. Now, I am going to begin by grinding some money. This, this is, this game is very unique. Now, I am enjoying this, right? I have enjoyed playing this game, but as my aunt said when I was telling her about this game, she doesn't like some of the ideas that it promotes, in a way. And a good chunk of my audience might be kids, so I'm also going to put a disclaimer. Now, I know there are games like Doki Doki Literature Club that I've previously played that is also disturbing. It should not be viewed by those who are easily disturbed. So, honestly, I mean, it is completely up to the parents who allow their kids to watch YouTube. If they think that they're... Well, let's put it this way. Maybe I won't even put an age gap on it, but if you are if you if you are easily disturbed, then do not watch this regardless of age your age. There could be the someone who's thirteen or fourteen that is okay and understands the wrongness of some of the things that are done here. And there are some eighteen year olds that could watch something here and completely duplicate it or react to it you know or act out on it so again if you are I know I've talked a lot about it but if you are easily disturbed please turn away from this tr from this video from this game I mean again obviously your own choice your own if you're over the age of 18 but as I said, this game is just something that should not be repeated. The actions in this game. But anyway, we got a full $10, which is just the only amount that we're allowed in the piggy bank. So, no matter if we got a whole chunk of money, we wouldn't be able to keep it all. But somehow, we can earn more money during certain quests here. Now, here, this is Bugs. He will, if you have more than $3, he will ask you for half. Any, any three and under, he doesn't seem to notice. So we got five dollars now. So we don't need all ten dollars anyway. So that's fine. The first quest we're going to do is Cindy's quest. Now we have to get rid of bugs. It's very important. We have to tell on the teacher, start a fight with him, and get rid of him for the ending of this day. He has, he can't be there at the end of the day for this quest. Now the point is, each time we do a quest from one of the kids here, or even the teacher, one of the characters here, we'll earn an item at the end of the day that can be used later. There's a very interesting premise in this game. It's like, it's like Groundhog Day, in a way, strange enough, that each day we keep repeating a Monday, and it's like if we do something for someone, they don't remember it. Like, it's like it's the same Monday, the very first, like, even though it says Monday times whatever, it's like, how do I put it? It's the same Monday. You have to reintroduce yourself and redo things all over again. So if they were mad at you one Monday, it won't be the next. Or if you become BFFs with them one Monday, they don't remember it. But the items they give you at the end of the day can carry over. You could take some of them with you for other quests. So it's it's interesting. Now, also, this game is known to be kind of... Not that it's hard, but it is difficult 
in the way that you gotta know what you're doing to a T. You have to have it all planned out in your head and know what order to do what. Because you have so many what they call apples. Once all the apples are done, you move on to the next phase of the morning, the next part of the day. So if you have to do something like in this part, you have to do it all in this part. And you can't miss. So I've done everything. I, yeah, I did everything, I think, for the morning here for Sydney. This is Sydney. The little girl was Sydney. She gave us a piece of gum. She wants us to put it in the hair of the girl with the flower, the black hair and the flower. I'm trying to see. Do I need anything? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta confess is that this is post narrating and I was looking at a walkthrough here. So sometimes you'll see a little bit longer of a pause, I will confess. This is just early on. But I mean, at this point, like, yeah, I do not need, as of now, I do not need anything for s more for Sydney's quest here. So I can use up the apple every time. If you don't need an apple, if you push certain butt, you will get money. 25 cents, I think for that, for your moves. So you have five moves or five apples. Now, we have to put gum in this girl's hair, which uses a move. So move, you never know what will use a move. Even like taking something might use a move. So yeah, we, she cried. So now we're in a relationship, I guess. Now I did something here that I honestly didn't need to do. For the longest time, I swore you had said I had to, like I thought I had to wash my hands, but you know what? Oh well, things still work out in the end. And we use another move on this hall monitor, just to show him the hall past. Past. Pass. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. I get it. You need to wash off blood if you're beaten up with bugs. If you don't have a fight with bud bugs, then you have no problem. But we have to be nice here to Sydney. When we have to agree. And we ha remember, you've got to have a dollar at this point. You have to bribe her off, you know, to make her forget and make her happy. If you don't, if you can't pay her, you don't something bad will happen will this that's another reason why this game is very disturbing it's not what it seems it isn't just as innocent as it seems i know i seem to be spoiling a lot but by this point by 2020 you know about this game and its sequel so yeah first we gotta buy or buy some for ourselves and after we talk to her, we have to go to Monty, the guy with the glasses and the orange hair, to get a salad, which is cheaper than buying one of those dog biscuits that the janitor is selling. And plus, it would honestly be... I'm not, I'm not going to go any further. How cruel it would be to give Sydney those biscuits. But we are going to be doing that later. There, this game, it isn't just, like... We'll just say you're gonna get a very thorough let's play with this, which for me is a, a thing. We'll just say, guys, I love you doing this LP. I have to love you a whole lot to do what I was doing here. Don't take that the wrong way. But I've been doing a lot better with trying to go as thorough as I can to get as much done as I can. So, she distracted the cafeteria lady so we could go and get something gross to pour on Lily's hair. As if uh, the gum in her hair wasn't enough, we're going to torture this poor girl more with a bucket of- Ooh, we're going carry! Guys, we're going all carry! Although, I have a feeling that that isn't pig blood. Yeah, that is blood, guys. That is blood. Not, it isn't like tomato juice or anything. That is blood. It really, she's five years old. All these, I mean, the teacher isn't, and neither is the janitor, but my god, this, this girl is a female dog again. I know I said this is not meant for kids, but I'm, I'm just not going to say that word. Just YouTube, you know what I mean? 
But yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, she's, um, Dot. You know what? I'm gonna take the note in Jack Septiceye's book. I'm gonna try to avoid his using the. You know, I said it's a disturbing video, so she, yeah, she's pretty much dead. And there's, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Oh. Wait. No, oh! Nugget! Oh, Nugget! I love that kid. I'm sorry, but everyone by this point knows about Nugget. He's like, what is it? I swear he's the mascot of this franchise so far. Honestly, I'm gonna see if I can... I don't know if I'll have it by the time, like, maybe you'll see it in a Christmas or birthday vlog earlier, but, my god, I want to get a shirt with Nugget's face on it. Don't worry, just his face, nothing sadistic he does. But I, I even said to my aunt, I'm like, I just love that kid. I am... Uh, have a flower. We have to, we have to show the flower. We can't keep it. Now, guys, this is going to be an important item. This is going to be a very important item. So we have to show this in order to keep it. So now we can use this for one of the missions that we're going to go on later. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Just like in kindergarten, show and tell. Do you guys remember that in school? Now we're gonna have a little fun cutscene with Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, eh, whatever. Okay, yeah, and you're not gonna remember it's the next day. But thank you for the flower. Anyway, this is going to be very useful. Guys, I think I will end this episode and do another mission in the next one. So if you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. Help this channel a lot. And I will see you guys in my next video.